Welcome to our travel video showcasing the 15 best places to visit in the beautiful city of Rome. Join us as we explore the hidden gems and must-see destinations that make Rome a dream destination for travelers. From Colosseum to Palazzo Barberini, this video will take you on an unforgettable journey through the vibrant city. Get ready to discover the top attractions and experience the unique culture that Rome has to offer. Whether you're a local or a first-time visitor, this guide will provide you with insider tips and recommendations for an extraordinary trip. So grab your bags and let's dive into the wonders of Rome. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more travel inspiration. Welcome to the vibrant city of Rome, where there's always something exciting happening. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through the hidden gems of this sprawling metropolis, showcasing the top 15 must-see destinations that Rome has to offer. So, let's dive right in. First up, we have the iconic Colosseum. Colosseum number 1. The Colosseum also known as the Flavian Amphitheater, is a colossal marvel of ancient Roman engineering located in the heart of Rome. Completed in AD 80, this elliptical amphitheater could hold up to 80,000 spectators who gathered to witness gladiatorial contests, animal hunts, and mock sea battles. The exterior showcases a series of arches and columns, with the three tiers adorned by Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian orders. Walk through the labyrinth and underground passages where gladiators and wild animals awaited their turn in the arena. The Colosseum's history unfolds as you stand in the midst of the majestic ruins, imagining the roar of the crowds and the spectacle that wants to find Roman entertainment. Roman Forum Number 2 The Roman Forum, nestled between the Palatine and Capitoline hills, was the bustling center of ancient Rome, where political, religious, and commercial activities converged. As you walk through this vast archaeological site, you'll encounter the remnants of temples, basilicas, and government buildings. Marvel at the Temple of Saturn, the Arch of Titus, and the House of the Vestals. The Curia, once the Senate House, stands as a testament to Roman governance. The Via Sacra, the sacred road, cuts through the Forum, providing a path once traversed by victorious Roman generals during triumphal processions. The Forum encapsulates centuries of Roman history and is a captivating journey into the heart of the ancient city. Pantheon Number 3 The Pantheon, a masterpiece of Roman architecture, stands as a testament to the genius of its builders. Originally constructed by Emperor Augustus's general Agrippa in 27 BC, the current structure, rebuilt by Emperor Hadrian in AD 120, is a marvel of engineering. The iconic dome, with a diameter of 43 meters, features an oculus at its apex, allowing sunlight to stream into the interior. As you enter, the grandeur of the rotunda unfolds, adorned with Corinthian columns, niches housing statues of deities, and a stunning coffered ceiling. The Pantheon serves as a functioning church, 
with the tombs of notable figures like Raphael and King Victor Emmanuel II adding to its historical significance. Vatican City No. 4 Vatican City, the world's smallest independent state, is a sovereign enclave within Rome. Begin your journey at St. Peter's Basilica, a Renaissance masterpiece designed by Bramante, Michelangelo, and Bernini. Marvel at the colossal dome and the intricacies of Michelangelo's Pietà. Adjacent to the Basilica is St. Peter's Square, a grand elliptical space surrounded by colonnades designed by John Lorenzo Bernini. Enter the Vatican Museums, a treasure trove of art and artifacts, with highlights including the Raphael Rooms and the Map Room. Culminate your visit in the Sistine Chapel, where Michelangelo's ceiling frescoes, notably the creation of Adam, leave an indelible impression. Trevi Fountain No. 5 The Trevi Fountain, a Baroque masterpiece tucked into the narrow streets of Rome, is a sensory delight. Designed by architect Nicola Salvi and completed in 1762, the fountain is a theatrical spectacle of mythological figures and cascading waters. The central figure of Oceanus, flanked by tritons and seahorses, commands attention. The entire composition is a celebration of the sea's power and the abundance it brings. The natural water source, Aqua Vergina, has supplied the fountain for centuries. Tradition dictates that tossing a coin into the fountain ensures a return to Rome. Whether you're marveling at the fountain's grandeur during the day or witnessing its illuminated splendor at night, the Trevi Fountain is a must-see, exuding timeless allure. Spanish Tiffs No. 6 The Spanish Steps a grand staircase connecting the Piazza di Spagna below to the Trinità dei Monti Church above, is a masterpiece of Roman Baroque design. Commissioned by Pope Benedict XIII in the 18th century, the steps consist of 135 marble steps, creating a monumental and theatrical entry to the church. Ascend the steps, adorned with azaleas in the spring, to reach the Trinità de Monte Church, where a panoramic view of the city unfolds. The Spanish steps are a favored gathering spot, where locals and tourists alike sit on the steps to relax, socialize, and absorb the vibrant atmosphere of one of Rome's most iconic landmarks. Castel Sant'Angelo No. 7 Castel Sant'Angelo, originally constructed as a mausoleum for Emperor Hadrian, evolved into a fortress and later a papal residence. Connected to St. Peter's Basilica by a fortified corridor, the castle boasts a cylindrical design and a commanding presence along the Tiber River. Explore its interior, featuring papal apartments, the Sala Paulina, and the prisons. A 
Ascend to the panoramic terrace for breathtaking views of Rome and the Vatican. The castle's history intertwines with the cities, from its imperial origins to its role as a refuge for popes during times of conflict. The Angel Top Fortress stands as a symbol of resilience and transformation over centuries. Piazza Navona No. 8 Piazza Navona, a grand public square built on the site of the ancient stadium of Domitian, captivates visitors with its harmonious blend of Baroque architecture and lively ambience. The centerpiece is John Lorenzo Bernini's Fountain of the Four Rivers, symbolizing the four major rivers of the world. Admire the obelisk and sculptures that adorn the square while savoring gelato from the surrounding cafes. Piazza Navona hosts events, markets, and street artists, making it a dynamic hub in the heart of Rome. The Baroque churches of Sant'Agnese and Agon in Santa Maria della Pace contribute to the square's architectural richness, creating a vibrant backdrop for Roman life. Capitoline Museums No. 9 The Capitoline Museums, located on Capitoline Hill, house an unparalleled collection of classical art and artifacts. Designed by Michelangelo, the museums consist of the Palazzo dei Conservatori and the Palazzo Nuovo. The iconic Capitoline Wall, the symbol of Rome, is showcased along with ancient sculptures, including the iconic Capitoline Venus. The museums also feature masterpieces by renowned artists such as Caravaggio and Titian. The Piazza del Campidoglio, the square outside the museums, is a testament to Michelangelo's architectural genius, with a central equestrian statue of Marcus Aurelius. As you wander through the galleries, each room unveils the rich tapestry of Rome's artistic and historical legacy. Palatine Hill No. 10 Palatine Hill, one of the seven hills of Rome, is a mesmerizing archaeological site that offers a panoramic view of the Roman Forum and Circus Maximus. According to legend, this is where Rome was founded by Romulus. Explore the ruins of imperial palaces, including the Domus Augustana and the House of Livia. The Farnese Gardens provide a tranquil retreat with terraced landscapes and ancient statues. As you traverse the hill slopes, you'll encounter remnants of ancient Rome's opulence, including the Stadium of Domitian. Basilica di Santa Maria Maggiore No. 11 The Basilica di Santa Maria Maggiore, one of Rome's four major basilicas, is a triumph of Romanesque and Baroque architecture. Dating back to the 5th century, the basilica is dedicated to the Virgin Mary. As you enter, the opulent interiors reveal a gold coffered ceiling, intricate mosaics depicting biblical scenes, and the Borghese Chapel designed by John Lorenzo Bernini. 
The Basilica's Marian icon, the Salus Populi Romani, is a revered pilgrimage site. The Sistine Chapel, a hidden gem within the basilica, features Michelangelo's exquisite frescoes. Circus Maximus No. 12 The Circus Maximus, an ancient Roman chariot racing stadium nestled between the Palatine and Aventine Hills, offers a glimpse into the grand spectacles of ancient Rome. Once accommodating over 150,000 spectators, the vast arena hosted chariot races, athletic contests, and religious ceremonies. While the original structures are mostly gone, the expansive field provides a sense of the stadium's colossal scale. Stroll along the Palatine Hill for a panoramic view of the Circus Maximus, allowing your imagination to transport you to a time when the cheers of the crowd and the thundering hooves of chariots echoed through the air. Janiculum Hill No. 13 Janiculum Hill, situated on the western bank of the Tiber River, offers panoramic vistas of Rome's skyline. A peaceful escape from the city's bustle, the hill is adorned with landscaped parks, statues, and monuments. Visit the Fontana dell'Acqua Paola, an elegant fountain that commands attention with its cascading waters and classical design. The terrace of the Janiculum also hosts the impressive equestrian statue of Giuseppe Garibaldi, a prominent figure in Italy's unification. As the sun sets over Rome, the Janiculum provides a romantic backdrop, and the cannon fire from Piazza Garibaldi marks a long-standing tradition. Whether by day or night, the Janiculum Hill offers a tranquil retreat with unparalleled views of the Eternal City. Campo de Fiori No. 14 Campo de Fiori, a lively square located in the historic center of Rome, exudes a vibrant energy day and night. Traditionally a market square, it is now a hub for socializing, shopping, and indulging in culinary delights. In the morning, the Campo de Fiori market comes to life with colorful stalls offering fresh produce, flowers, and local products. As the day progresses, the atmosphere transforms, with cafes and trotterias filling the air with the aroma of Italian cuisine. The centerpiece of the square is the statue of Giordano Bruno, a symbol of free thought and the intellectual spirit. Palazzo Venezia No. 15 Palazzo Venezia, an imposing palace located near Piazza Venezia, holds historical significance as the former residence of various Italian nobility and, later, Benito Mussolini's headquarters during fascist rule. The palace's architecture combines elements of Renaissance and Baroque styles, featuring a grand façade adorned with columns and sculptures. Inside, the museum showcases an impressive collection of Renaissance art, including works by Titian and Veronese. The balcony, known as Mussolini's Balcony, offers panoramic views of central Rome and the Roman Forum. Palazzo Venezia serves as a tangible link between Rome's past, its aristocratic heritage, and the complex history of the 20th century. Thanks for joining us on this tour of the 15 best places to visit in Rome. We hope you enjoyed exploring these hidden gems with us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting travel videos.